I'm not mad. I said, whoa. Well, excuse you. <laughs> excuse you, sir. I definitely feel like this tree has run its course. But you can look at it and tell it ain't got no flavor. Look how blonde that thing is. <laughs> are you all right? Where are you going, though? Guys, guys. The reason I am vlogging today. We are going to make Brazilian lemonade. Which one's bigger? Okay, clearly this one. Yeah, no. Nah. If you have to put those next to each other to determine which <laughs> one was bigger. Yo, okay, shut up, bro. This ain't none of your business, okay? Now, what we need is two cups of water, two cups of water, half a cup of sugar. And we'll add a bit more water. Why are you zooming in on them? Right. You messing up the vlog, bro. Guys, my hands are ashy, but it's all right. Let's not look there. Yeah, get ashy fingers. Don't get my ashy fingers, okay? Then mm. we're going to... How much of that are you putting in? What is that? It says six, tea, six teaspoons. One, two, three. That's four, way too much. Five, six. That ain't look tasty. We're gonna cut these into quarters. Well, six actually. Your guess. You think it's gonna be good? Yeah. I need you to say it out loud and confident. So that's it. Now we're gonna blend this up. There you go. Much better. Thank you. So we're just going to. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Sugar chunk there, don't, don't look there. Anyways. Here. Right here. Don't, don't spill. Here. Alright, give me a cheer, yeah? Don't cheers. Cheers, everyone. She oh. spit it out. <laughs> this was laughing. Because what she said. I just made Brazilian lemonade. Oh, what's that? <laughs> This is like, um, a Windows 11 um, block screen. <laughs> How beautiful are those homes, are though? Like so, I haven't shown you guys this room in forever, actually. I haven't vlogged in forever, but yeah, it's kind of switched up a little bit. So, this olive tree I'm actually obsessed with. This was from Pillow Talk. And then I got these, like, you know, this faux moss stuff that everyone's kind of obsessed with <laughs> off of Amazon. So I finally got some and it looks so much better. It looks so good. I low-key don't even want to move this because I don't want to replace it with a Christmas tree. <laughs> Today's agenda is going to be, it's kind of Christmas, 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 I was going to say Christmas-fy. <laughs> uh, make this house seem a little bit more holiday friendly. So we're going to put the tree up. I definitely feel like this tree has run its course. I don't even know if this is going to stand up because this got squashed in the garage this year. So I'm not even... Jeez Louise. Oh my God. I didn't realize how bad this was. I thought it was like slightly squashed. Oh my God. God, we're going to have the most crooked Christmas tree this year. What is happening? It's a budget. Yeah. Like these, right? We just want to like pull that out straight. This one. Mm -hmm. I gotta put this one. This one's pretty as well. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? In the rain. Ooh, I found a really big juicy one. Ignore my messy garage, guys. It's not a cute, aesthetically pleasing place, but we're here doing a workout. We're working on my core. My core is extremely weak. If I'm struggling, <laughs> you know what? Doing this exercise, I'm not a fan of plank exercises, but one arm. <laughs> 
facing the opposite. Ugh. This is my first time doing this exercise, okay? Let's not judge so harshly. What's up you guys? I'm feeling great after that workout. I had an iced coffee this morning as well, so it's got me feeling a little energized. I'm not a coffee person. I'm definitely just like a tea girl. I've been a tea girl for years, but I've recently started drinking coffee and I'm like, you know, I'm here for the little energy boost it gives me. I'll kind of understand now what the heck I've been missing out on with the, you know, iced coffee girlies and everything. I was always like, what does it do for you? But now I understand. <laughs> I'm definitely team coffee. I don't want to be, but I think I'm headed in that direction a little bit. I'm just going to clean up a little bit. The house is looking a little cluttered. So I'm just going to clear out this bench and then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. So let's get to a little cleaning montage. We haven't done one of those in a little while. All right, we're looking a lot better in here. The bench is clear, besides this that needs to go into the laundry. But yeah, it's looking a lot better. I actually went into Cotton On today, um, just to get a few basics. I love their basics. They have really great quality basics, but everything else is just kind of like a, yeah, it's a bit of a miss for me, but I do love their basics. I don't know, I was just feeling great today. I was like, let me try something new. I got a little too excited at the nail shop and I was like, I want something new. And I wanted something a bit darker, but I didn't want a black or like a gray. So I went with this, maybe because it's a little bit more Christmassy. I don't know, what do you guys think? This is hella weird for me. These are my new nails. Might switch them up next week, might not, we'll see. So yeah, let's go finish wrapping a few of their gifts and I've got a dessert I wanna make. So I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. All right, so these are some of the gifts that we've got under the tree already. All of these are the girls. Um, yeah, there's literally all the girls. The adults ones are kind of in the corner over there, but these are the girls. Can we just have a minute, please, to um, look at this wrapping? So my man actually wrapped these. It's like I'm wrapping the girls' presents. I come back and, um, excuse me, what? Men are usually so rough with wrapping paper, like they just don't know how to do it properly for some reason. It's like wired in them, but excuse me, like the lines, the crispness, like, I'm like, how do you wrap better than me? That's weird. He's wrapped all of these and look how neat they are. I mean, I'm not that surprised. So he's a very like intentional person and he does everything with intent and he does everything like, he's just a very, what's the word? Precision, I don't know. <laughs> OCD maybe, but I'm not complaining. These look like they were wrapped by me. Better job than me actually. I feel like the first couple presents, I'm like, my technique is great, but then after a while I start to get a little bit sloppy. These are all like perfect. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad, I said, whoa. Well, excuse you. <laughs> excuse you, sir.
So you know how there's always that one present you're not looking forward to wrapping? Here's my guy right here. I don't know how the heck to wrap this one, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, it's just such an odd shape, you know? Plus it has this horn that's just gonna rip through the paper. It's one of those ones you just stick a bow on and say Merry Christmas, but we're not gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna tie the top with this real quick so I don't lose it. Okay, you remember earlier when I was talking about how dads wrap presents? <laughs> Exhibit A. This is how dads usually wrap presents. Anyways, it's wrapped, it's all right. This stupid horn po poked out. I don't know if I could cover that with anything. Okay, you know, I'm gonna make a little bow to put here. So we'll start with this. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. Done so. So I said earlier that we were gonna make a dessert, right? Today's video, we are making a uh, a remix of Lucky Caramel Slice. I was telling my partner how great a caramel slice was. And I don't know about you guys, right? But back in the day, if you're from Australia, caramel slice is like an Australian staple. You go to any cafe, they're serving a caramel slice. Way back in the day, caramel slice was like me and my sister's thing. Like we loved caramel slices. But for some reason, right? I don't know if all the cafes in Melbourne all sat together and had this like, they've come to a unanimous decision to change the recipe of a caramel slice. Because this is not the same caramel slice that we grew up on. What do you think of that? Like, you want to rate it out of 10? Yeah, like, do you think it's a good dessert? Do you think it tastes weird? What's your vibe? It's pretty plain. See? That's what I'm saying. It's like a plain jam. Like, all the taste of a caramel slice has literally gone out. Basically. But you can look at it and tell it ain't got no flavor. Look how blonde that thing is. <laughs> this is not it, guys. So, we're not making the actual caramel slice, but it, this is a... Uh, <laughs> This is a remix version that I saw on Instagram, which still looks really tasty. Um, they're using Biscoff biscuits. So in this bowl, I've got cream cheese. This is Philadelphia cream cheese. I just used half a block. Also have to use this Biscoff spread. Well, obviously you don't have to, but it definitely adds to the flavor. Looking good though. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. Anyway, <laughs> why are you smiling? I need to crush up these biscuits because obviously I'm going to use them for the base. You got to turn off the obvious. No, no, no. That's going to break the bag, babe. Use the side of it. Oh. You're so smart. See, this is why I need you around. All right. Cream cheese with a little bit of melted coconut oil. I'm going to add my biscuits in here now. But do you see how the cream cheese just kind of clumps together? I think this is my issue. Like, I think you need to use an actual wooden spoon, something that is not so pliable. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the fridge to harden for a little while and then we'll be back. The fuck is this shit so hard? It's so sweet, I just mixed it with the regular milk chocolate and we're just gonna pour this over the top. Nice even coat. Then I'm just going to place a couple of biscuits. biscuits. Mm. 
and then just crumple some over the top. So I made some spares over here. Uh, my partner's not really into the caramel stuff, so he likes his dark chocolate. So I've made a few for him. Instead of the Biscoff on top, I'm going to add some of these nuts because I feel like he'd prefer that. These are his and yeah, we're going to put these in the freezer and we'll test them out later. See how they taste. Wait, how did you know it was me? Huh? How did you know it was me? Because I just do. Because <laughs> you hear my vlog camera? No, I just know your footsteps. I know dad's footsteps, I know Wal's footsteps. What are you doing? Playing FIFA. Are you filming? Oh. Are you filming? I am. Are you surprised? Yes, I, know, I haven't seen you film. Hey, what is that? Give me some. I bought you a dessert. So I bought these for Nemo to try. Be my little test bunny. Mm. Can I have it all? Yeah, I bought it for you. Yeah. Is it sweet as? It is. Nemo, put a shirt on so you can show people how tall you are. Okay. How, how you're like actually taller than me is actually wild. So I just wanted to show you guys how big Nemo is. You guys probably haven't seen him in my vlog in ages. Can you see how tall this child is? Go back to back. Are you all right? Where are you going though? Where are you going with this height? Jeez Louise. I feel like I've shrunk though. Yeah. I have, yeah? Mm -hmm. I feel like when, you're, when you become a mum, you shrink. I don't know. I may be making this up, but I swear I feel like it's true. Say hi to the vlog, guys. Hi. Nemo, you haven't seen them in ages. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Teenagers, bro. Look at this kitty pie, my little nephew. Look how big you are now. This is Jamarcus. Do you guys remember we did like one vlog with him? I think it was like your third birthday party, yeah? Yeah. Look how big he is. A little kitty pie. Oh my God, I love them all so much.